The disaster surrounding Disney's new woke Pinocchio film continues to escalate in the most insane way imaginable as we continue to see all these different things coming out about this movie that continue to show that Disney really is going completely mask off when it comes to pushing their different radical agendas, especially on kids. And now we have some more confirmations of that and we're going to be taking a look at that in this video, but just as a friendly reminder, this is the first trailer that they released for Pinocchio and it is basically just a teaser okay they didn't even really release that much about the film yet but as you can see here that didn't matter this right here this just goes to show right here with this like to dislike ratio look how devastating this is this just goes to show that more and more people are waking up to what is happening in the country right now what is happening in the culture right now and they are getting sick and tired of it there's there was a long time there with a lot of the woke ideology that was starting to really just infect the culture in a really radical way there was a time there where people i think a lot of americans were just kind of you know kind of like eh, okay whatever you know they were they were just kind of going along with the flow and all that type of stuff they didn't really want to ruffle any feathers they're like okay just you know whatever just do your thing you know and leave us alone but they, people, more and more Americans are starting to realize that they have no intentions of leaving you alone. Wokesters don't have any plans to leave you alone. They want to control every thought that you have. They want to control everything that you say, everything that you do. They want to stamp you out, completely delete you, destroy you, everything. If you have an opinion that they don't like, or if you do not think in their woke ways. So, with all of that being said, we're going to be taking a look at this article here, which is pretty crazy. Disney's Pinocchio star Cynthia Erivo. Alphabet people should be commended for being brave. <laughs> what? What? Uh, which is just such a crazy thing to say. Like, th this, this whole idea that... Alphabet people are just super duper brave in this day and age where they literally have their, their own month dedicated to them where corporations, you know, billion dollar corporations will pander to them in any way imaginable is ridiculous. The The idea that you can't even really say anything negative against uh, alphabet people on social media without the possibility of getting banned, silenced, completely wiped out is laughable that they continue to think that they are the brave ones, that they are the ones who are the the oppressed. That is absolutely not the case. Oscar-nominated actress Cynthia Erivo claims that Alphabet people should, should be commended for being brave. The star of Disney's upcoming Pinocchio spoke with British Vogue for its August 2022 Pride issue, which features 11 Alphabet people from the entertainment industry as its cover stars. So, and this, I mean, the, the the real problem with a lot of this lies in the fact that they continue to think that they can continue to push a bunch of just radical ideologies and agendas on children. That is where a lot of the issues lie in a lot of the stuff that's going on. Um, Erivo claims that many alphabet people still feel the need to be constantly justifying why we deserve to be treated as equal beings, when really the only difference is that we love differently and we express ourselves differently. Well, I mean, that's not really the only difference because, you know, you know, I mean, I could get into a lot of other differences that are out there, but that's not what we're here for. Um, rather than being chastised for that, we should be commended for being brave. The star of the upcoming Wicked movie Ed, added, that's the most important thing, giving people the space to show up fully as who they are. Revo also offered advice for alphabet people who want to, know, to help but don't know what to do, stating that they need to find their queer family and sit and chat with them. So anyway, nerves and fear have gotten in the way of learning all of who I am. And today with pride and with wonderful people beside me, I am sharing a little more. Arivo wrote in the Instagram caption. So anyway, and this is her dressed as the the, the fairy from, uh, from Pinocchio, which, you know, that's obviously its own thing which you know the, the whole idea of the, the whole problem with all of this is that go is that, that is going on right now is that we know that this isn't happening just because she was the best person for the role 
That's not what's happening here. Disney has no intention of hiring people based on merit or talent. They have clearly made that very, very obvious with the things that they have said, with the people that they hire and everything else, and the, 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 um, the priority of who they hire for different roles. And that is where a lot of this issue lies. And like I said, like I said at the beginning of the video, this is the result of that, where you have 328,000 dislikes compared to 46,000 upvotes. That is an insane ratio that I really haven't seen a whole lot of, especially for a trailer. I think that the Rings of Power trailer has this beat by a little bit, but... This is what is happening. People are sick and tired of what is going on, and they want it to, to, to stop, okay? So with that being said, let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Leave a like, subscribe, I, I appreciate that a lot, and I'll talk to you all in another video very soon.